What's going on guys? This is Seha Man back with another Ninja Turtle or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure review. Today we're going to be looking at Playmates. This is the classic collection um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the uh, more articulated version. Uh, this is, it says here on the, on the packaging, you can see it says inspired by the original animated series, which I love. Uh, 34 points of articulation. The packaging is pretty much the same as like the, the older figures, if you can see that there, the, the vintage ones, which is really, really cool. I really love the packaging on these. Um, now, as far as my reviews go for the Ninja Turtles, I was reviewing the basic figures from uh, the, the Nickelodeon um, series, but I'm just going to be reviewing all kinds. I'm going to mix them all up, like the NECA ones, the 12-inch um, the figures or the 11-inch figures, and then at the end, I'm going to do a comparison of all of them. I'm going to put all of them together so you guys can see all the... All the Ninja Turtle stuff that I that I have, but um, I'm just going to be throwing different stuff out from different lines from the N Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like classic and basic and all that stuff. So, and uh, NECA. So you guys, um, I'll be doing all of them. So just letting you guys know. Uh, but the packaging is nice. He does have a base there in the background, really cool. The top there, it's got like a sewer, sewer, um, like texture there, like looks like the top of a sewer, and it says. Uh, Right. Oh, actually, it is because it says it reads here "City Sewer," and this is just really cool. I mean, it's just like a throwback to the uh, to the the um, original packaging. You got Playmates on the top left there, really, really nice. You got the turtles right there. It's like the bricks are coming out in the background. Right here on the back, it's a read up. Got a nice picture of all four of the turtles there, and it, I mean, they look like the animated series. Um, you can see on the top, inspired by the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series. The read-up says, The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are back like never before in collector quality figures featuring 34 points of articulation, signature weapons, and classic sewer cover bases. These perfect old school cartoon recreations will leave you screaming cowabunga. About the turtles, capulated from indie comic origins to superstardom by the original Marakukami Wolf Swenson MWS animated series TMNT ran on air for nearly a decade, 1987 to 1996, and ranked number one in ratings for an unprecedented five straight years. Featured in over 190 episodes, the fun-loving, shell-kicking teens are still recognized around the world and fondly remembered by fans with every bite of pizza. Right there at the bottom, there's all the other four figures, which I'll get into. Really love the um, packaging on these. Now, th I'm going to let you guys know where I got these from. I have I have two sets of each one. One I'm going to keep in package and uh, the other I'm going to um the I'm going to review. But for you guys that are trying to find these cuz I know like um the the prices went up like on Big Bad Toy Store and uh, I think Target they they're out they're like sold out online. amazon.com. Go to amazon.com cuz they're like $17 a figure. Plus shipping, so it'll be about 20. So if you guys are looking for these, Amazon.com. All right, guys, let's take a quick break and take the Michelangelo outside of the packaging. Stay tuned. All right, so here we have Michelangelo outside of the packaging. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, because um, I've seen these at Franken Sons as well. Make sure when you guys, if you find these in stores, make sure you guys find, make sure you guys look at the paint because some of the paint on these figures is kind of messed up. You might find little blotches on the figures so you know be careful for that and uh, let's get let's get a look at the uh, figure here so here he is he's got his nunchucks and there's the uh, sewer base that he does come with it says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Michelangelo and it's got two pegs and Michelangelo does have two peg holes on the um, on the bottom of his feet now if we get a close look we'll take the base off here's the here's a little close up on the base which is really cool nicely detailed it, there's the two pegs. I thought it was going to be like a metal, but it's not. It's just plastic. So either way, still cool. Um, here's Michael Angelo. It's, it's really cool seeing figures of this size. Uh, he does have his two nunchucks. You can see here with real chains. There's the handles. So this is really cool that he does have these. Um, in the back, he does have a place to put them. You, put, you can put... He has little four little... Um, holders there on the belt so you can put two you can put each one on each slot so that's cool um, the shells isn't 
as detailed as I thought it would be, but I mean, this is based off the animated series, so it doesn't really matter. Now, I'm having problems here with this belt. This comes off here, and uh, you can see that there. It comes right off, and it's loose. I'm not sure exactly why, but it does have a peg, and there's a hole there, so you just got to match it all up. You can see I'm having a bit of a trouble doing this. It's pretty loose. Either way, it stays in a place. Uh, he's got the M on the belt, which is really cool for Michelangelo, obviously. He's got the orange bands around his hands, his elbow. He's got a look on his eyes, kind of looking up. So pretty cool, really, really nice. Not much detailing in the figure, but I mean, again, he's based off the animated series. There's a the yellow on the um, pads there. Now, one thing that I don't like about this, it's, I mean, I'm not going to say I don't like, but it's just kind of wish they didn't put, is the hand articulation, as I mean, the fingers, because I can't really get him to hold his, his, um, his nunchucks right, it makes it kind of weird, and they just slide through, so I could have done without the finger articulation, but we'll get into all that articulation in a second, either way, I mean, this figure is nice, it's great to have, um, you know, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles based off of the uh, animated series. So we get a top to bottom look here. Really nice. There's the back. Really cool. Now let's go ahead and get into Mike's articulation. Um, the head can't pop off, just to let you guys know. Okay, so the head can go up and down can kind of go side to side, rotate as well. Uh, he does have this like ab articulation here, or I'm sorry, upper torso articulation, which allows him to rotate as well. Goes up and down. Um, the legs can go in and out, forward and back. They can rotate, uh, bent, double jointed at the knees. Uh, foot can go up and down. Can rotate side to side. It's kind of got that like a uh, little ankle rocker thing that the Marvel Legends kind of have, or have. Um, he's got toe articulation. I'm really not sure why. Uh, foot can go up and down. Legs go in and out. I think I already said that. Um, the arms go in and out, forward and back. Double jointed elbows. Rotates at the wrist or at the hand. Uh, let's see. Well, arm can rotate, and he's got the finger articulation. So each finger articulates. Even the thumb can go like side to side and up and down. So you can do like a thumbs up which I don't really like. I don't really care too much for the finger and the finger articulation. Like I said, because it kind of makes it a, a problem when you're holding on to his, um, there goes the belt again, when he's holding on to his uh, nunchucks. But it's still a great figure. Um, don't get me wrong, I love these classic figures and I love them that they're so articulated and um, the size. Now, I'm going to bring out the Michelangelo from the basics line here. You can see the differences in the size of these. I mean, look at that. Again, um, I'm going to be doing a uh, comparison on all the figures once I'm done reviewing every single Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure I have, which is only going to be the Classics line, the Basics, and the uh, NECA um, ones. So, there you have it. But, a great figure. Again, he does come with a base, which you can place him on, which I'm going to display all of mine on. And he has his nunchucks. So, see what I'm saying? I mean, they have a little bit of trouble getting him to hold his uh, nunchucks because of the uh, the finger articulation. It makes it just makes it a little awkward. But I mean, great figures, guys. Don't get me wrong. I love these figures. These are just fantastic. All right, all right. There you go. So there you have it. This is the Michelangelo Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the Classics line. I've been waiting a while for these. So if you guys want to pick these up, make sure you either check Target or hit Amazon.com, guys, because they're on there. All right, guys, this is Seha Man. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. And stay tuned. we got a lot more on the way.